want to send beautiful professional newsletters that actually get opened? Well, in this MailChimp tutorial, I'll show you step by step how to create and send your first newsletter fast and easy. So let's get right to it. First of all, you need to go to MailChimp and create your account or sign in if you already have one. Now, here I'm on my MailChimp homepage. Now, once you create your account or sign in with your existing account, if you don't have one, go ahead and sign up. The creation process or the account creation process is pretty easy, simple and straightforward. And here you have your home screen. Now, you can click on create here to create your first campaign or automation or landing page if you want to. And here you have your campaigns. You can view and edit your automations. You can view your forms, you can view your audience, analytics, website, content, and integration. Now to create a newsletter, we'll actually create a campaign and we will edit it to be a newsletter later on in the settings. Now click here on campaigns and here you can view all your campaigns. Now I don't have any marketing campaigns yet. Now what you want to do is to click on create here or you can click on the create button from the menu on the left and then choose campaign. Now I'll click create here. And now you have two options. You have a regular email or an automation. So I'll just go ahead and click on email. And you can also build landing pages if you want to. Now I'll click on email. And here you have a few options. You can create your campaign or newsletter from scratch. You can create it using basic layout. So basically, the layout is like a blank page, but with placeholders for stuff like images, links, and so on, or from a fully designed template. For me, I'm going to go with a template because it's easier to edit a pre-made template. So I'll click here. And here you have some templates for a newsletter. However, note that these templates are only available for the essential paid plan. Now you can start a free trial or if you want to stick up with the free plan, you can start with a basic layout. So I'm going to go ahead, since I like this one, the Easter week specials, I'm going to start a free trial. Okay, click on start free trial. And here I am after signing up for the free trial. Of course, you need to enter your credit card details to activate the free trial. Now, here it is the template in the editor. Now you have two views. You can view how your template will look like on a desktop or on a mobile phone. So here you can edit any block as you can see once you hover your mouse over it or you can add pre-made blocks. You can also edit the style and optimize. So I'll go through the styles later. However, let's focus now on the page itself. Now here for the header, for the menu items here, if I click on it, I can see all the settings. So the styles, the visibility and the code, and I can edit all the aspects. So the shop, I can make it, if I highlight the text, I'll type in store, for example, I can edit the text type for the items here. I can edit the font if I want to, let's change the font. Okay, let's highlight the text first and then choose the font. Okay, it's changed. Make it italic and increase the font size a bit. Change the color. Okay, let's make it blue. Okay, looking good. Now, if I click here on header once again, I can see here the style. I can edit the padding, the margin, and so on. If I click on the code, I can edit the code if you are into that. Now, here, I'm done now with the header. Now for this photo, if I click here to move the block, let's move it to the top or duplicate it or delete it. And for this one as well, the title, let's say Easter newsletter. Okay. And I can add a link as well if you want to. So you can add a link here to link to a web page or an email, phone number, file, survey, landing page, or anchor. So I'm going to leave it as it is. I can change the photo here. If I click on it, it'll open here. I can click on replace. I can upload an image. Okay, and this is a random image from my computer. And it is replaced as you can see. I can do the same with the text here and the images here. Now for the button, if I click on the button, I can link it to a web page, email and the same options here. Now let's link it, for example, to google.com just to see. And if I hover over the text and highlight it, I can change the text to 
like for example click me okay also highlighting the text i can edit the font may change the text or the font size make it bold italic underlined or increase or decrease the letter spacing so let's change the font okay looking good and let's do the same with the other button let's say click me as well and as you can see the button expands based on the text size let's add for example facebook.com of course you would want to link these buttons to your own website or collection or your own like pages okay the styles i can change the style of the button square round or a pill and i can even increase or decrease the corner roundness to get the shape that i want i can add a border so this one for example i can edit the colors the button color let's make it this orange color okay done and for the text color let's make it like this purple this dark purple okay i know it doesn't look good but i would just want to show you what you can do or the settings that you have i can even make the alignment on the left center right for the button the size of it small medium large for the button itself i can edit the padding and so on so let's go ahead and get back and now once you change all your or edit all your blocks here this is a divider i can go ahead and move it or just delete it if i want to now if i go here to the social media block i can set the social type to follow it to links to your social channels or share your own social media so for facebook here i can add my facebook page name of the button facebook instagram and x formerly twitter and you can add another social link if you want to to your email or whatsapp threads blue sky linkedin patreon and others so let's add for example my threads account as you can see the icon appears right here and you can add your threads account right here now you can go ahead and remove the stuff that you don't want okay now it looks good let's add a block let's add for example a divider and drag it and drop it right here okay the style it's solid i want it to be solid actually let's get it back to dotted i kind of like this one i can edit the line color let's make it red okay and let's go ahead and add a button here just under newsletter okay let's make it say sign up for example and let's go to the styles to edit the button color let's make it yellow the text size let's leave it black now the block background i can add a background as well to make it green okay done and let's go ahead and link it for example to our page so tiktok.com i'm just adding some random websites okay and once you are happy with all your settings you can go ahead and send a test or save it and exit let's add one more block so for example a logo block of course to add my logo and let's make it here put it at the top and now i can set my logo browse images you can add images here for stock images or instagram or giphy however i'll just upload an image from my computer so upload image i just uploaded an image i'll just wait for it to upload and it'll be added as my logo so my logo is added and it's automatically replaced in the other logo block so let me delete this one and it looks good now i can go ahead and save as template or change the template or save and exit or send a test so if i click on send test you need to enter the recipient's email to send them the test or here you can click on preview to see how it looks like now it looks good if i click here on sign up it'll open up you guessed it tiktok okay and since it looks good let's go ahead and close this window and let's save it for now or you can send a test if you want to however to send it you need to enter the recipients edit the subject so let's edit the subject my newsletter 
the preview text you can add it if you want to okay save and now you need to add the recipient so you can import contacts since i don't have any contacts yet and as i told you edit or schedule the send time and then you are good to go you can click on send so this is how easy it is to create newsletters with mailchimp